What is going on beautiful people? Hope you're having a beautiful day because I'm having a beautiful day. So guys, today, video gonna be about top five hamstring exercises. Now the hamstrings, they are probably one of the most neglected body parts in the entire uh, physique, right? Uh, besides calves, which no one seems to train, unfortunately. But hamstrings, right? Something that you can't neglect, okay? Because if you don't develop your hamstrings up, uh, when you do a leg exercise, say for the squat or for the leg press, you're gonna be very quad dominant and you're not going to uh, be able to get the most out of that movement because you'll have some imbalances. So guys, as for hamstrings, you want to be developing the hamstrings just as much as you would the quad, the calf, the glute, the chest, etc etc they're trying to create overall aesthetics uh, now hamstrings you really don't need to do a whole ton of volume uh, if you're doing a leg day you can chuck that in with that so if you're not already doing uh, these hamstring exercises i would recommend doing them and incorporating them in your leg workouts or in a separate workout so guys without further ado let's jump in to the top five. Power, all right, exercise number one is going to be the stiff-legged deadlift. Now, this is an absolute brutal exercise for the hamstring, and it's gonna be one of the exercises that is going to be overall power movement for the hamstrings. Now, something to think about when you're doing this is to push your hips back as far as humanely possible on the negative portion of the movement, right? So when you're lowering the bar to the ground, you want to be thinking about pushing your hips back as much as possible while keeping your back straight, okay? So you don't wanna be arching over at the back, risking injury within the lower back. Uh, as well, you want to keep the slight bend within your knees. So even though this is a stiff legged, we don't want a straight leg because it puts less emphasis on the hamstring. So have a slight bend in your knees and aim to keep that slight bend throughout the entirety of the movement. So typically I'm gonna do this uh, with a stance around shoulder width. Uh, you will vary depending on the length of your limbs. The idea is to find that sweet spot. Now a little tip if you're struggling to get the activation within the hamstrings is to place a platform, say plates or a wedge underneath your feet. So where your toes are, you wanna place them so they're on an incline and this is going to place more emphasis on the hamstrings and allow you to get a better stretch within there. Power, right? Exercise number two is going to be the lying hamstring curl. Now this is the exercise where I find to get the best contraction possible within the hamstrings. So something to think about while doing this exercise is actually lifting your knees a little bit off the platform. So a lot of the time people are going to over arch their back pop their hips up so their glutes are very, very high and they're gonna place less emphasis on the entire hamstring. So in terms of where your feet should be placed within the platform that you're actually curling is going to be slightly dependent on you, but I would recommend taking a shoulder width stance. So the wider you go, the more inner of the hamstring you're gonna work and then the closer you go, the more outer you're gonna work. So we wanna find that sweet spot right in the middle. So we're working the entire hamstring. So we don't really need to worry about developing XYZ or different parts of the hamstring right now. If you're not currently training the hamstrings, that's your first bet. Power exercise numero tray is going to be the GHD, right? So the glute ham development machine. If you don't have this actual apparatus, you can do it on a lat pull down machine uh, where there's the knee pads, you place your heels underneath that. But the idea is guys, you want to keep the constant tension within the hamstring. So you want to fully straighten out the whole entire way and then you want to curl up as if you were doing a leg curl all the way up so your body is straight, get a full contraction within the hamstring. So taking this one slow guys, because it's body weight, typically what I'll do is go to failure and do as slow reps as I possibly can. So a very slow tempo, but if you have extremely developed hamstrings, you can throw on an exercise band and that's gonna increase the resistance. Power, exercise number four is going to be the good morning. Now the good morning is very, very similar to the Romanian or the stiff-legged deadlift. And although it's quite similar, you will see a significant difference in the way the load is placed throughout your actual posterior chain. So again, a thing to think about is shooting your hips back while keeping your back as straight as humanly possible. So you just want to bend over till your chest becomes almost parallel with the floor and then shoot your hips forward thrusting through the hip. So if you do struggle with balance, you can do this on a Smith machine, which will make it much, much easier in terms of stability. And in that way, you can actually focus 100% on the contraction. Power, speaking of Smith machines, number five is the Smith machine lunge. Now, depending on how you do this, a lunge is going to place a lot of the load into a different area of the leg. Generally, it's gonna hit uh, the entirety of the leg, the glute, hamstring, and quad, but the way you do it 
is going to put a greater emphasis on either the glute, hamstring, or the quad. So if you have more knee flexion, you're gonna place more load on the quad. So that means if you're taking a smaller step forward, you're going to put more knee flexion in work and as such, you're gonna use more quads. So the further you step, the more you're gonna place on the glute and the hamstring. So what you wanna do is take about a good one big step in front of the actual bar path. So at that point, all you need to do is place your back leg up onto a platform to stabilize yourself and then go down and then squeeze through the glute. So you want to be pressing directly through the heel and that's gonna place a lot of the emphasis on the hamstring and glute. A good way to think about this is to think as if you were doing a stiff legged deadlift or something that's going to place a big stretch on the hamstring. Like if you think about that, then you think that you're just trying to keep your leg as straight as possible while driving your hips down and getting your body actually past your hip. Pow, all right, so guys, that is top five hamstrings. I know it's not the most popular topic in the entire world, but I thought I would still make this for you guys. So if you guys wanna see a glute top five glute video, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a like and I am just gonna wrap the video up here. I hope you enjoyed watching because I enjoyed making. I'll catch you in the next one later.